I made one teensy tiny assumption about your gambling addictions in jest, only to come to realize that perhaps I was right about you a lot all along. You're nuts, I tell ya. But folk do want them slots, and heck, this isn't even all of you who ask for heaven's sake. But wouldn't you know it, you're in luck, cause today we will test our luck on the machines and discuss what certain spins could mean for you. If you haven't put two and two together already, Shipwrecked and its world generation makes pinpointing these unique locations quite difficult compared to the other games. Sure, all world gens across the Don't Star games will see change, but there really isn't anything discernible in Shipwreck to truly help you out. And at the very least, at least the other games share a landmass. But thankfully, in this case, I can confirm that looking on smaller islands with mangrove biomes connected to them is your very best bet at locating the machine, almost guaranteed. Now that you found it though, I want to warn you of a couple things immediately. The slots will take your doubloons, that's pretty darn obvious, but each doubloon means a loss of 5 sanity a spin, as well as a permanent increase to its pre-existing negative sanity aura drain on top of that. So you gotta be very mindful while playing the chances over and over, as more plays means more cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, at least quicker. But speaking of chances, our first potential outcome sees a 33.3% chance of spawning a wide variety of potentially dangerous numbers of mobs shown here, even poisonous ones. It might not seem too bad, but they can add up unintentionally, and will certainly be looking to eat some of that loot that will be spewing out if they do spawn. So how can we counter this potential side effect? Easy. More elephant cacti. So head to and up the mountain of fire to do a bit of prickly harvesting only to replant a few in and around the slot. Now anything that will spawn will be spiked right up the butt, which is marvelous. But oh yeah, I would then be prepared with cactus armor yourself so that you aren't getting pricked in the process of gathering your loot from now on. It's super efficient and quite safe. Now. Let's talk the spin you'll be seeing the most of, the triple carrot roll. At a 50% chance to roll it, these items you see here will become quite numerous, I'm sure. Ones to note, though, are the chance at gold and obsidian, making them fairly renewable through several different avenues at this point. The chance at three skeletons for elusive but useful bone shards using incredibly efficient wetness resistance clothing. The five poop shoot is pretty darn welcome, believe it or not. And the firefly drop too, especially cause fireflies are non-existent and shipwrecked apart from this chance here alone. But the true reason why you just can't stop playing, the 16.6% .6 chance at a triple gold roll. I mean, there are so many fantastic items here that it'd be impossible to cover them all. But first note, the chance at a marble suit. An armor that is unobtainable and shipwrecked without a reign of giants connection due to the lack of marble drops. So it's incredible to have access to such stellar armor within an expansion that really does lack any good ones itself. So go get you one. Speaking of though, you can get a seashell suit at least, a poison spear, and a spear gun in a single reward. So you have an armor that protects from physical poison on top of what it already does, a weapon that can dish it out itself, which is phenomenal, and a further ranged weapon that can be potentially dealing upwards of 250 damage a shot which is absolutely amazing, that is. A drop of five gunpowder is unheard of as well, as actually mass producing the stuff within Shipwrecked is really difficult, all things considered. So this can make making coconades, and thus their counterpart obsidian coconades, far, far easier as well as helping in crafting boat cannons for oneself. Very nice and very explody. So be careful. All the gems and gem related drops are spectacular as really the only way you're getting close to these in Shipwrecked is through trawl netting for minuscule chances across all seasons, digging up X marks of spots for slim pickings there still, or just saying screw it all 
and heading to Reign of Giants only to just go right back with the Seaworthy once again. The Magaluminescence drop is insane alone. But a potential drop of three total gems of three different kinds is quite awesome altogether. If that wasn't enough though, how about a full set of full side gear outside of Reign of Giants? From a 59.5 plus damage weapon in the full side club, one of the best there is. An 1800 durability armor that absorbs 90% of damage for you, which is sturdy as all heck. To a crown that offers the same protection, but can also just spawn a freaking literal force field around you throughout combat. Yeah, the slot machine is easily game breaking. If you got the money for it, that is. So how do we go about getting some of that? Here's the scoop. The blooms are coming from parrot pirate drops while wandering about within shipwrecked. From X marks the spots in potentially large quantities, which is quite lovely, but quite rare. From the booty bag daily at one a shot. From the chest of the depths following a squid dinner at 7 to 14 blooms a serving, making it one of the best sources around. Or heck, even the slot machine itself are going to drop them for you too. But your best bet at bigger drops of the golden coins may likely lie with the Arctopus. Because as we've recently discussed, trinkets lead to the blooms. So take a trip to the lazy squid when and if you can. More doubloons means more chances to come out on top, friends. So keep on spinning them wheels. One note before we go, though. When the water rise come the downpours of the monsoon, your slot machine may get flooded and thus become unusable for the rest of the season. But we can combat this through sandbags placed around it. However, I think we'll discuss more seasonal stuff and the impact it all has at a later time. But there you have it everyone, a guide on the slot machine within Don't Starve Shipwrecked. I now realize that I most certainly only managed to reinforce your gambling addictions following this video's release, but hey now, with rewards like these, who wouldn't waste their life savings or their children's college funds on a couple spins for their own pleasure? Thanks for watching folks, well wishes to all, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.